If they're over 60, there is something you need to hear, and it could change everything about how you age. Day 22 of my creatine test, I was standing in my kitchen, reaching for a water glass on the top shelf, and something felt different. I didn't wobble. I didn't brace myself against the counter. My body just knew where it was in space. It was such a small thing. But when you're over 60, small things, they aren't small anymore. <laughs> They're everything. I started this 45-day experiment expecting stronger muscles, maybe better gym numbers. What I got instead was something I didn't even know I lost, the quiet confidence of a body that listens to your brain again. Stay with me, because what happened next will reveal the discovery that could help millions of seniors regain their independence. Let me take you back to the beginning, because my story may sound a little bit like yours. I'm Andy, I'm founder of 5BX60, and I'm 77 years old. I've always been active, always pushed myself, but lately, I've noticed things. The hesitation before stepping off a curb, the way I grip the handle while I grip the handrail while going downstairs, even if I didn't need to, little accommodations, small surrenders. I heard about creatine for years, mostly in the context of bodybuilders and athletes, but new research was emerging about its benefits for older adults, cognitive function, muscle preservation, even bone health. So I decided 45 days, 5 grams daily, I track everything, strength, energy, how I felt. I expected incremental improvements in the gym. I had no idea I was about to stumble on something that would fundamentally change how I look at aging. And here's the shocking part. It had nothing to do with what I was looking for. Before I tell you what happened, you need to understand what's really at stake here. Every year, one in four adults over 65 falls. Think about that number. 36 million falls, 3 million emergency room visits every single year. What the statistics don't capture is the real devastation. A fall isn't just a broken hip. It's the moment independence starts slipping away. It's the fear that creeps in. It's deciding not to go for that walk, not to reach for that dish, not to play with your grandkids on the floor because what if you can't get back up? Balance isn't about coordination drills. It's about communication, your brain talking to your eyes, your muscles, your joints, all of them firing in perfect synchronization. When that signal weakens, life gets smaller, quieter, less. I didn't start this test thinking about balance, but what I did discover at day 23, it changed everything, and I'm about to show you exactly what happened. The first 14 days were, honestly, they were kind of boring. I took my five grams every morning, mixed it into my coffee. I kept up my routine. The five daily 5BX60 exercises I've been doing for years, toe touches, ab crunches, Superman push-ups, cardio crunches, nothing fancy just consistent movement. I tracked my reps, watched for changes. Maybe my push-ups felt slightly easier, hard to say. Could have been placebo, could have been nothing. I was patient. Research says it could take weeks before I see results, and I kept expecting seeing more weight on the bar, more endurance on the cardio march. I was looking in completely the wrong direction because what was happening wasn't in my muscles. It was happening in the space between thought and movement and the neural pathways I stopped paying attention to years ago. The change was so subtle at first, I almost missed it entirely. But then came the pickleball game that revealed everything. Day 23, Wednesday morning, pickleball at the community center. This is where everything clicked. I've been playing for two years. I'm decent, not great, but I hold my own. That morning, something was different. A ball came screaming toward my backhand. Normally, I'd think about my positioning, adjust my feet, set up the shot. That day, my body just moved. No hesitation, no mental checklist. My feet were already in position before my brain caught up. And then it happened again, a quick volley at the net. My reflexes felt quick. I don't know how else to say it, awake, like someone had turned up the volume between the connection and what I saw and how I responded. After the game, I stood in the parking lot on my car door and I realized my balance seemed rock solid, not just stable, confident. That's when I knew this wasn't about muscle mass. This was about something much deeper, 
something I thought was just gone, but I needed to understand the science behind what was happening. And what, was I, what I discovered, it will blow your mind. I went home and started digging through all the research with fresh eyes, and what I found explains everything. Creatine doesn't just help muscles contract, it fuels ATP tradition, adenosine triphosphate, your body's energy currency. Every thought, every heartbeat, every movement it's expends ATP, and as we age, we make less of it. The signal between brain and body gets weaker, slower, fuzzier. Creatine acts like a cellular recharge station. It helps restore ATP faster, which means your neur neurons can fire faster. Your muscles can fire faster. What I was experiencing wasn't magic, it was biochemistry. My brain was talking to my body again, clearly, quickly, confidently. Spatial awareness, the ability to know where your body is in three-dimensional space, was coming back online. Movements that used to require conscious thought are coming, coming automatic again, and that changes everything. But here's where it gets really interesting. This wasn't just happening on the pickleball court. It was showing up everywhere in my daily life. Over the next week, I started testing this newfound ability, and what I discovered shocked me. Walking down the basement stairs to grab something from storage, no death grip on the railing, just walking like I used to. Turning quickly to grab my phone off the counter, my body adjusted perfectly, no stumble, no catch. Bending down to tie my shoe and standing back up without bracing myself on my knee. These sound like nothing, don't they? But if you're over 60, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These are the moments that define independence. I wasn't just moving better, I was moving without fear without that constant background calculation of risk that becomes so automatic that it becomes so automatic you don't even know it's there. This is what better brain-to-body communication feels like. Not superhuman, just human again. And then I decided to put it to the ultimate test, something that provides and demands precise timing and coordination. I've been doing a daily jump rope challenge, 200 jumps a day. This became my laboratory for measuring what was really happening. Before creatine, it was work. I count every jump, concentrate on timing, focus on not tripping. Around day 28, I put on music, just jumped. My feet felt the rhythm automatically. My wrist coordinated with my ankles without thought. It smelled, felt smooth, easy, fun. That coordination that's not just fitness, that's neural efficiency. That's your nervous system firing on all cylinders. And I got a little overconfident, though, honestly. I pushed too hard. I trained too many days in a row. I ended up with some mild tendonitis in my knee, and I had to back up back off for a few days, but the lesson was clear. Progress requires patience, not punishment. Creatine was giving me capability back, but I still had to be smart about how I used it. And But this is why this matters more than just my personal experience, because this could transform how we look at aging itself. Here's what hit me the hardest and why I knew I had to share this with you. For decades, creatine has been marketed for 25-year-olds trying to build biceps. But the real research shows that it builds cognitive function, balance, cognitive function, and bone density in older adults. We've been overlooking one of the most powerful tools for helping aging because we are looking in the wrong demographic. This matters because balance isn't just about avoiding falls. It's about maintaining health span, how long you live well with energy and freedom and movement. When balance fades, health span collapses. You stop walking as far. You stop playing. You stop doing the things that make life worth living. Life quietly shrinks. But combining that with regular movement and creatine supplementation strengthens a neuromuscular system that keeps you steady and rebuilds that brain-body connection. It isn't about adding years to your life. It's about adding life to your years. Now, if you're thinking this sounds great and you want to know where to start, I'm about ready to give you the roadmap that I wish I had to start out. If this resonates with you, here's your action plan, and I want you to start smart, not fast. First, talk to your doctor, especially if you manage blood pressure or have any kidney concerns. Get clearance. This is non-negotiable. Second, Start with 5 grams of creatine monohydrate daily, and that's it. One teaspoon. Mix it in with your coffee, your water, whatever works. Third, stay hydrated. 
Creatine pulls water into your muscles, so drink more than what you think you need. Fourth, and this is crucial, keep moving. The five daily 5BX60 program, walking, swimming, whatever you enjoy, creatine fuels the connection, but movement builds it. That's the formula. Creatine plus consistent movement equals restored balance and confidence. Small steps, daily commitment, long-term stability. But don't do this alone because I'm building a community of people who are proving that better aging is possible and I want you to be part of it. I'm hosting a live stream this Wednesday, Aging Strong Live, and I want you there. We're going deep into deeper into balance, facial awareness, and the latest into research on creatine for older adults. And you can ask questions, share your own experiences, be part of a community that's proving better aging is possible. Because here's the truth, you are not alone. There are thousands of us discovering that the decline we thought was inevitable isn't. We're rewriting the narrative on what it means to age. We're showing up, moving daily, and refusing to accept getting older means getting weaker. Hit subscribe. Tap the bell. Join us Wednesday. Let's figure this out together. Because what I'm about to tell you in the final segment might be the most important thing you hear today. <laughs> I'm standing in my kitchen right now, the same spot where I reached for that water glass on day 22. And that moment changed everything. Not because it was dramatic, because it reminded me the person I used to be is still here. Balance isn't just about avoiding falls. It's about reclaiming freedom. It's about picking up your grandkids without hesitation. It's about walking on uneven ground, ground without fear. And it's about traveling, playing, living fully. Creatine helped reawaken the my mind and movement. When you move with confidence, you move through life differently. That spark you feel right now, that little flame of possibility, that's your health span calling. Feed it, protect it, and keep it alive because the fire is still in you and you're not done yet, not even close. The question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to let another year pass watching your balance fade or are you going to take action? I'll see you Wednesday. Let's keep moving forward together.